Hello, this is Peter and welcome to part two of my keyword research course. And in this uh, video, I'll be looking at researching the keywords that you've identified that you uh, want to do a further analysis on and look at potential keywords that you can use uh, for your website. So for this, we'll go to Google AdWords keyword tool, which most of you will be familiar with. Um, now you will need a, a Google account to be able to log into uh, the AdWords keyword tool. When you first log in, uh, you'll have these options here and then you just need to choose Keyword Tool from the menu there and that will take you to this page. Now the uh, some of the options here may vary a little bit depending on uh, where you've logged in from and if it's a new account or not. Now, first thing I do is I set a location. Um, at the moment here, I don't have a location. It's, it's set to all. Um, in most instances, you'll probably find that you're targeting the US or at least interested primarily in the US, unless you're doing something very specific, uh, uh, country or, or, or region specific. So in most cases, you'll, you'd want uh, location set to United States and uh, language set to English. Now it's particularly important uh, if you're um, doing eBay or Amazon or, or similar um, sort of promotions where you know, particularly for Amazon Amazon doesn't do uh, doesn't ship many products outside the US so uh, you really want to be looking um, mostly at all the United States traffic in that instance okay so first thing we're going to do is put in a keyword or phrase so in this example I'll put in coffee machines so we'll just click on the search okay and you'll notice here we've got two tabs now depending again on on, on how your account set up uh, keyword ideas or ad group ideas might be the one that comes up first so we'll start with keyword ideas because that's the one um, most people are familiar with I mean, it's split into two sections here. We've got the actual keyword that you've searched for, which in this case, coffee machines, because we, we can add as, um, a whole bunch of keywords in there if we want to search multiple keywords. And then underneath here, there's a whole list of related keywords to coffee machines. Now, before we go any further, the first thing we need to do is make sure that we our match type is we untick broad and tick exact. Now I won't go into the detail as to why that's important. There is an article on my blog that explains the difference between these three different match types. But the the short version is, if you're looking at the broad match uh, figures, you're going to get a very unrealistic uh, idea of the amount of traffic you can potentially get to your site. Whereas if you look at the exact match figures, that's going to be a lot closer um, to the amount of traffic you'll get to your site if you're ranking for the, that particular keyword. Okay, so let's let's have a look at the columns here. So the first one's obvious, that's our, our keyword. Uh, competition, now this is one that throws a lot of people and they get confused. They, they think competition means uh, that uh, the difficulty in ranking for that keyword so they see here high competition and they think okay coffee machines is hard to rank for um, but in actual fact because this tool is based around people doing AdWords campaign it's an indication of how many advertisers are competing to bid on that particular keyword for their AdWords campaign so obviously coffee machines yeah, it would be one that a lot of advertisers would want to, to bid on, hence the reason it's high competition. Okay, now we've got global monthly searches and local monthly searches. So global monthly searches means searches that are non-region specific and local monthly searches will be related to whatever location you got set here. So in this instance, United States. So here we can see that there's quite a difference. There's um, 40,500 global monthly searches for coffee machines and only 1,900 
for uh, local monthly searches. Now, whether you look at the global monthly searches or local monthly searches depends a little bit on the type of product or niche that you're promoting. Uh, like I said, for physical products, if you're using Amazon, then in most cases you want to be looking at the local monthly searches because you're generally doing it for a specific region. Whereas if it's an info product, you know, like an ebook or a video course or something, then global monthly searches is, um, is, is probably uh, quite suitable for looking at. But we also need to um, check where a lot of these, uh, the, the breakdown of, of, of where the traffic's coming from as well, or the, the amount of searches, which we'll, which we'll do in a moment. Okay, and then underneath here, as I said, we've got uh, eight, 800 key relate, related keywords. So um, a lot of these keywords can be really handy. Um, so say after we've done further analysis on coffee machines, we decide that's, that's a good keyword to go for. Then here we have a whole bunch of related keywords that we can use to uh, help build up the site and target multiple keywords. Alternatively, you might start with something broad like coffee machines, which is is a fairly broad keyword and um, <clears throat> would, would most likely be quite hard to rank for. And you could go down through this list here and look for some longer tail keywords. So, um, for example, coffee vending machines, or here we've got a whole lot of uh, that are model specific, um, best best coffee machine. You know that, that's that's quite a good example. Um, so generally, what I'd do is sort it by global monthly searches, and we can see here we, there's there's no point in even looking at these top ones here because they're they're way too general. Um, most most keywords that you'd be going for would be two two or more words, and yeah, we can we can look down through this list here, but we can we can further reduce that list by using some of the filters. So if we go in here, and we say and say say we are uh, interested in just local monthly searches because we're looking uh, to promote something on Amazon USA. So let's say we're only interested in local monthly searches that are greater than a thousand. So we'll search again and this time we'll see that our list of 800 has now come down to 62. So that's that's quite a drop. Um, and again you could you know, discount a lot of these ones unless there was a particular brand in there that you might want to look at in more detail. Um, <coughs> Now, we don't have uh, one other column that's useful to look at, and if we click on the columns uh, drop down here, is approximate CPC, so that's approximate cost per click. Now, that information there is mostly useful if you're uh, bidding on ad, you know, creating an AdWords campaign yourself. The one area where this figure plus this competition um, ranking or rating here can be useful is to determine keywords that um, are obviously popular with searches so advertisers aren't going to be spending AdWords money on keywords that don't have uh, potential to make them money. So. One thing we can do is look at um, add another filter in there. So let's say um, CPC of one dollar, and we'll see what that brings our list down to. Okay, that's brought it down to forty-five there, um, <clears throat> and you can see, especially down here, we've got some quite quite useful keywords there we could um, potentially have a look in a bit more detail. Now one point about global and local monthly searches is quite often 
a lot of people say, yeah, look look for a keyword with X number of searches. The thing is that there's no there's no magical figure. Um, however, that being said, you you don't want to be looking at keywords that are way down the list that get very very little traffic. You in most almost all cases you want to uh, get keywords that get a reasonable amount of traffic. So I've I've just picked a thousand as a as a starting point. Um, I personally wouldn't be targeting less than a thousand uh, monthly searches unless it was something very 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 specific that had no competition had you know potential for very high conversions. Um, <clears throat> now the thing to also remember is the higher the monthly searches the most likely it is that the competition will also be greater. The other important, very important thing to note is Google Keywords tool tells you very little about how difficult it will be to rank for a particular keyword. So quite often you'll see a whole bunch of people parroting that Google AdWords keyword tool is all you need. Um, and it's a great tool for finding keywords it's a great tool for getting an idea of uh, what keywords you can target, but you can't use it solely to determine everything in your keyword research because it doesn't really give you that much information about how difficult it is to rank for a particular term. So, for example, one cup coffee maker it gets uh, six and a half, six thousand six hundred global monthly searches, five and a half thousand local monthly searches. So it's obviously a you know, very popular term in the US, and it has a CPC of two dollars and high AdWords competition. So that means it's, there's a lot of advertisers uh, bidding on that particular keyword, and typically any cost per click that's over a dollar um, means it's it's yeah got got quite a high level of interest and uh two dollars is you know is, is getting up there for yeah for something like this but from that i can't automatically assume that that's a difficult keyword to rank for it may or may not be um i mean you could probably safely say that um because it has a lot of bidders on that particular keyword and the CPC is re reasonably high, then it's potentially not the easiest one in the world. But all I'm saying is looking at these here, um, you can't really discount any of them just by looking at the amount of uh, these uh, particular columns here. Now in the next video we'll be covering the important step of determining which of these keywords are going to be easy, medium or hard to rank for. But this is our keyword uh, collection phase. So say, say for, you know, there's, uh, there's a whole bunch here, say cappuccino machine, uh, best espresso machine, espresso maker, mock cup maker. So we can click on any of these ones that we're interested in and you notice over here it adds them to uh, the saved ideas. So my keyword ideas. So you can go through and you know, say automatic espresso machine and any ones that, that look quite interesting have a reasonable search you can just keep adding them in there and then you can go off and do some other searches say uh, espresso machines um, and do, do a search for that and we could keep adding you know, keywords into here um, you know, we've got one here, a stove top espresso maker, and and so on. We we, we can build up a, a big lunch, a big uh, bunch of keyword ideas. Now, what you can do with those once once you've uh, collected a whole lot, is you can uh, download them. So um, <clears throat> you can either download all the uh, search results at Google uh, returns or just the keyword ideas. And the formats you can download them in this uh, CSV for Excel or just straight CSV that you can open up in some other spreadsheet um, and a few other formats there that you can then go and sort 
in, in various ways. Now, one other thing I will show you here, and it's something that not many people use because it's still relatively new, as you can see, it's still in beta, is this uh, ad group ideas. Now, this is quite a, a, a good feature because what it does is it breaks down your, your keyword into uh, categories. So here we've, we've got espresso machines. Actually, we might go back. I'll just go back to coffee machines again to make it a bit more general. And I'll, I'll just remove the filters as well. So we'll do that search again for coffee machines. <clears throat> Okay, so what it does here is it groups together various um, related keywords. So, for example, office, or machines office, uh, it's got 14 keywords. So we can expand that and have a look at all the keywords that are related to that. So we've got office coffee machine, uh, office vending machines, etc. <coughs> So say we were just interested in um, espresso machines, for example, we've got 43 keywords there and we can go through there and have a look at those or we might be interested in just a particular brand, uh, so the Krups coffee machine. So it's just um, quite a handy way, particularly if, you, if it returns a lot of keywords, um, it's quite a handy way of being able to um, narrow down or, or break down or hone into a particular uh, set of keywords um, so yeah there's again I mean you can use filters to filter by um, various options and you can sort it by the various columns and you know, look at the, the categories here and then just keep keep adding any interesting keywords you see and then what you can do is the next step is to check the uh, competition competition strength for each of those keywords and then uh, hopefully after that step uh, you can find a, a particular keyword that you feel comfortable that you could uh, rank for. Okay well that's all for this video here. The next video will cover just a, a little bit more um, a detail in the Google AdWords keyword tool uh, once you've found a few potential keywords, um, we'll look at uh, the getting a bit more detail as to, as to whether they're going to be suitable keywords. Okay, thank you.